Greetings, and welcome to episode 53. In today's episode, we will be discussing what you own, also referred to as keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> oh yes, we are all very familiar with this, but we're going to get into it anyway. Okay, uh, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but it keeps slipping my mind every time I think about it. It's like, what was I going to do? And then, phew, gone. But it's back. We're going to talk about it. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, keeping up with the Joneses, or the title of this video, What You Own. <clears throat> I could get into immediately why it's unimportant, but first we're going to talk about what you own. Why it's important. The things you own are status symbols. Because only a certain level of person can afford certain things thereby making it a status symbol to own it, like the most expensive phone, or the most expensive car, or the most expensive house. Well, from what I've seen, the most expensive phone, that one doesn't work anymore. Because I've seen some of the poorest among us, even homeless, have the top of the line phone. So that's no longer a status symbol. <laughs> Uh, but you still have your cars and your houses and your clothing and your this and your vacations and your that and your whatevers. And the Joneses, they run fast. And if they can't purchase the best thing, they'll go out and develop the next best thing. Because once they have everything, there's no more status symbols. And then you have the chance to catch up, and they can't let you catch up, or you, the whole system would collapse, because everyone would have what they wanted. <laughs> the whole system is designed to get you to chase your tail until you keel over dead. <laughs> and if you achieved all these status symbols, you just have no reason to chase your tail anymore. You have it all. Anyway... So, yes, the Joneses run very fast. And everybody, most of the people fall for it. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I buy an item, I want it to be the top of the line item. Not because it's a status symbol, but because I'm going to be using it and I want it to be the most efficient version of whatever it is I'm buying. Like, for instance, I need a new computer because I'm a gamer. I'm going to need a top of the line fast computer. I'm not going to buy the top of the line fast computer so I can go out and brag about it. Nobody will know about it except for the people in my household and other gamers I talk to about games and then when we discuss what systems we're running these games on then it'll come up. Otherwise nobody will even know. It's nobody's business. It's not to me a status symbol. It's just a new toy. It's like to me it's the equivalent of handing a cat a cardboard box. <laughs> it's only as valuable as what I'm getting out of it like to a cat that empty box has infinite potential and infinite value and that box is probably more valuable than my new computer will be <laughs> to that cat <laughs> that's what the computer is to me it's an empty box I'm going to get out of it what I get out of it it's not a status symbol I am worth an equal amount with the computer I have as I will be when I get my new computer because it's not a status symbol to me. I'm worth more than that. And when people decide that they got to have the next best thing for just for the sole purpose of going out and rubbing it in somebody's face and look what I got, you're telling the universe I'm only worth what I own. I'm only worth the value I can place on my assets. I I guess I don't I don't understand it. 
I can't fathom it. And that's that goes along with the the do you get it video. I don't get it. I don't get why that's important, why status symbols are important. You will always only be as important to me as you are important to me. If you serve no purpose in my life, that's how important you are to me. That's not to say you are completely without value, but you're not. I'm not placing any extra value on you because you have nice shoes or you have a nice car. <laughs> that doesn't make you a good person. That speaks it does not speak to your character. Now, how you treat me according to your belongings, like I'm better than you, I have this or I have that. Now, that speaks volumes to your character and your value to me can diminish as the conversation progresses <laughs> if you're trying to show you that somehow that you're better than I am that you will diminish as the conversation progresses because I don't give a shit unless you own something that I place value on what you own means nothing to me <laughs> I got a Lexus I don't care for Lexus so your importance is now lost on me <laughs> if you'd have rolled up on Harley we'd have something to talk about <laughs> I'm still not going to place you above me but I am going to compliment your nice bike <laughs> and it with these things comes an air of entitlement like you should be treating me better because I have things no I shouldn't be treating you better because you have things and I'm not going to treat you better Mm, excuse me just because you have things you need to come to terms with the fact that things don't make you a better person your character is what makes you a good or bad person your character how you treat people that can do nothing for you but like I said the system is designed to get you to chase your tail and within that system it's designed to give you that false sense of accomplishment, that false sense of power that comes with the, the, these false status symbols. Because what's a status symbol to you, that's just stuff to me. A status symbol to me is you come up to me and you show to me that you know more than me. You have more wisdom. And don't tell me you... I don't want to discuss fishing because that... It's not saying you know more than me. You know something that I don't about fishing. But I, we could, I could change the subject to music and start talking about, let's say, how well I play the bass guitar. And now we are still on equal footing. I know a skill you don't. You know a skill I don't. And I know how to fish. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> So you, we wouldn't be on equal footing anymore because now you've talked about fishing. I didn't tell you I know how to fish, but now I'm talking about bass guitars, and now I'm up two to one, or I'm ahead by one, just just in that one conversation. So your wisdom of things, the world around you, the inner journey, anything having to do with esoteric information, knowledge, wisdom. Tell me a life story. Or not your life story, but a life story. A story of something that you went through in your life. Life experience. That's something of value to me. If you're older than me, you probably have done something or know something I don't something of value to me, something I can actually use in my life. Other than that, your car doesn't... It might be a nice car, but if it's not a car that I particularly like, you're not going to get anything from me, but you're not even going to get a hey, nice car, because if I don't like your car, why would I say, hey, nice car, just to make you feel better? That's probably not going to happen. But people are still going to come at you like that. You have to place more value on me because I have valuable things. 
No, I don't. You hold no special place in my life if you don't do something for me. And that's not to say, oh, shine my shoes or open the door or whatever. Do something for me. Teach me something. Show me something. Tell me a story. Anything. Share your knowledge. Share your experience with me. Because the things you own, what are you going to do if I turn around and go out and buy the same goddamn thing? Same make, model, color, rims, interior, everything. That would piss you off, wouldn't it? No, it would really piss you off. As soon as I showed it to you, I'd go sell it because I didn't want it in the first place. Now, let's say you rolled up in a, what, let's say 78, 79 Camaro Z28 with a 4-speed and 350. Then we'd have something to talk about. Because that's something I like, that's something I want. And then I'm not going to place value on you. I'm going to place value on the thing that you're in possession of. And you're going to get a little bit of credit for having this thing. But I'm not going to elevate you to a higher status than me. Because you have one. How do I know you didn't steal it? And sure, you paid for it. Let's just say, for instance, you paid for it, but it could have been just the luck of the draw that you got one. Just happened to come across it. Still not status. Even if you own something I like, it's still not going to elevate you in my mind or heart or my, in my eyes. You're not going to be elevated to some lofty height because you own a thing. I don't know where that comes from. Your value to me is, I don't know, the appropriate word slips my mind, I guess, but a person is only as valuable to me as they, they, can, they can prove their worth to me. If you can't prove you have value to me, then I'm going to give you the basic courtesy I give every other human being. That you are at least equal. I am not going to be looking down on you. But I'm not going to hold you higher than me in any regard. Unless you can prove to me that's where you should be. Same thing goes with respect. And that's, some people demand they should, they should get a level of respect. Because I own, I own things, goddammit. Respect me. No. No. Respect is earned. If you want my respect, if you want that, that level of adoration, prove you deserve it. Otherwise, we're on equal footing and we'll remain there until you prove otherwise. Or until you do something to, <laughs> God forbid, make me think less of you. Like demanding respect because you own things. I own things, goddammit. Respect me. Mm. Want to go again? <laughs> the truth is your true worth cannot be measured in things. It can't. If you said to the universe, I want stuff whatever that stuff is and you 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 make your list of whatever those things break it down into whatever things you want and you tell the universe i want things in accordance to my true value there's just not enough raw material on the planet to get you what you're worth any one person and every person is worth that much every one of us I'll say it again. If you were to petition the universe, that is to say, if you were to ask God to provide you with the material equivalent to your true worth, he would tell you there's not enough raw material on the planet to get you what you're asking. And that goes for every human being on the planet. Well, how can we all be equal? Because at the end of the day, 
we're all still edible. <laughs> no matter how you slice it up, if you were trapped in the woods, and this scenario would work for each and every human being, if you were trapped in the woods, and you didn't have any means of, of defending yourself, no knife, no sticks, no guns, nothing, no rocks, you just had your wits and your opposable thumbs, at the end of the day, you are edible, and something will eat you. You show me how that makes you better than me, or how that makes me better than you. Maybe I can make myself taste better than you. That makes me better than you. <laughs> you see how that works? Each one of us worth the same. And that's not saying we're only worth pennies. I'm going to say it again. If you were to petition the universe, that is to say, if you were to petition God and ask for the material equivalent to your true value as a being in the universe, God would tell you that there is simply not enough raw material on the planet to grant your wish. And that goes for every human being on the planet, whether they realize it or not. So you roll up in your Lexus or your, your, your BMW or whatever it is that you, you, you think is a status symbol and will elevate you. You roll up in that and you try and get respect from me based on that. You're not going to get it. Like I said, you roll up on a Harley. You roll up in a 78, 79 Camaro. And I'm going to love your vehicle. You're going to compliment your bike. Mm -hmm. But you're just not going to get that level of awe that you're looking for. Your car might, your bike might, but you are not going to. That value I'm not placing on you, I'm placing on your, your property. Your material item. Because there's nothing that you're going to show me of material value that's going to get me to respect you. Show me your character. Show me your, your life experience. Show me your wisdom. These are the things that's going to get my respect from you. Or your res yeah, you're going to get my respect for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I said that wrong, but now I'm correcting it. See? <laughs> if you want me to respect you, show me something. Show me your true value. Don't show me the things you place value on. Because the things you own might not, imp might not be impressive to me. If you don't own something I want, or you don't own something I like, if you don't own something I place value on, owning that thing isn't going to get you what you want from me. And even if you did own something you, that I did like or want, the value is being placed on that item, not you. Ooh, I like your thing. But you're still an asshole. Ha ha. See? <laughs> huh. I see it too much. But I'm sure it balances out somewhere. But if you're that type of person, try not to be. Try not to be about what you own. Try, be, try to be about who you are. And then what you own will just be a bonus. Like, oh, you're, no, you're really cool. Is that your car? Wow, that's really nice. That's like a really cool person. And then that nice vehicle compliments him rather than punctuating him. Like, you're an asshole. And it figures you drive that. <laughs> <laughs> See the difference? <laughs> I see the difference. I remember I used to have a really nice bass guitar. I did Ibanez six string with a natural finish. It was very, very, very nice guitar. I used to love sitting and watching other people play it. Because when I'm playing it, I don't get to see it. 
Do you understand? I don't get to see the guitar while I'm holding it. And while somebody else is sitting there playing it, I get to see what I would look like playing it. I get to see what they look like playing it. And it looked Bruce Level. And I used to sit and think, wow, does that look that cool when I'm playing my guitar? <laughs> think about that for a minute. If you're in your really nice car, you don't get to see it. <laughs> If you're in your really nice house, you're not looking at your really nice house. <laughs> but your wisdom, your character, your life experience goes with you everywhere. And you don't get to see it unless you're sharing it with somebody. Think about that for a minute. Share that. Because what you own might not hold any value to the next person, to the person you're trying to impress. And then that's going to strike you out. He's not impressed. Or he's just being an asshole is what you're going to think. He's being an asshole. He doesn't like my stuff. No, he just doesn't appreciate your material possession as much as you do. Maybe ask him what he likes. Go out and buy one of those and ride up on that or drive up in that. Or take him to see that. And then see how he reacts. But still, that's it's waste. Because the person that you're trying to interact with, the person that you're trying to impress, if you showed him good character, he'd be very impressed. Very impressed indeed. If you showed him kindness, told him a story, shared some wisdom that he didn't have, Sharing wisdom that he already has, that's like riding up on the exact same bike he's got and saying, wow, look what I got. It's like, dude, you didn't see mine? <laughs> it's amazing how people miss the mark. I had someone do that to me like a week ago. Drove up in a beat up old Jaguar talking about, <clears throat> dude. Hang on a minute. <laughs> as your Jaguar sputters. <laughs> Slow your roll because you ain't rolling as fat as you think you are. <laughs> A, I don't care for that model of Jaguar. <laughs> and B, it's falling apart. So you're not going to get that level of respect that you're looking for. <laughs> But there they were, and that's what they did. Tell me a story. Show me your character. Your character. Who you are. The real you. The things that carry real weight. With me, anyway. That stuff may impress your friends. I'm not one of your friends. And that's when they start saying, well, you don't get it. Oh, I get it. I'm just not playing that game. <laughs> I know your true worth. That's what I'm after. That's what I want to see from you. But if you won't show me your true worth and you're going to show me your material possessions, I've just lost respect for you. And it's just going to get lower and lower until you actually show me something other than this shitty side of your character. <laughs> Be something of value. If you would like to me to elevate you to a higher status than where I'm at, prove that you've de deserved that. You're not going to prove that with shiny stuff, shiny baubles, <laughs> material possessions. That's not what's going to prove it to me. And I'm sure we all feel the same way. I mean, I like nice things. Don't get me wrong. I like nice things that I don't own. I know I like nice things that I'll never own. I like nice things that I wouldn't ever buy. No matter if I was the richest man on earth, if I wouldn't buy that, I can still appreciate it. But that doesn't mean because you own it, I'm going to elevate you. And likewise, if you own something I would buy, I'm not going to elevate you. 
Now, I'm going to fawn over your possessions, <laughs> maybe, but I'm not going to elevate you to a higher status. What have you done to, to, what have you done, not what do you own, what have you done to deserve that elevation to a higher status? Prove I need you. Prove I need a nod from you to get me through the day. Prove that you deserve that higher status that you're trying to get. Because I don't do hero worship. If I meet someone I put in that I place in high regard, is not the same as putting them in a higher status. If you are someone I place in high regard, that's because of a service you provide. You're actually you're doing something of that I place value on. To I personally place value on it. Whatever service you're providing. So maybe you're one of my favorite. Uh, musicians or actors but I don't do hero worship so it's not gonna be like oh that's gonna be like right the fuck on dude <laughs> I'm not gonna faint at the sight of you but I will say it's good to meet you now don't speak because you're gonna ruin the moment <laughs> you're gonna say something foolish and I'm gonna clash you off the list so we're gonna have shake hands and I'm gonna split <laughs> before you can ruin it <laughs> <laughs> humans one and all I remember the first time someone tried to elevate me just got done doing a show like, like I said I'm a musician I'm a bass player still am a bass player technically just I haven't played out in a very very long time but, but uh, one of the last shows I ever did guy comes up to me after the show and he says you are the best bass player and all I could think to say was no I'm not <laughs> <laughs> that was a moment that to me was like sinking the aid on the break barroom rules not not professional rules when you sink the eight on the break, you sit down. You're done for the night because you're never going to outdo that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just, it was on that moment, it was unreal. It was surreal. And it was. How do I, how do I say this? My ego. I beat my ego to the punch. <laughs> my ego tripped up on the compliment. I, what? And I was like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> and my ego was like, oh, missed him. <laughs> you fucked it up for both of us. Yeah, well, you know how it is. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, uh, I mean, I appreciated the compliment, but I, I'm like, dude. You been living under a rock? Many better than me. I mean, I'm better now than I was then in terms of skill, but I still could not have been, in my mind, I could not possibly be the best bass player you've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. But still, that moment still gives me a chuckle. How I dealt with that moment still gives me a chuckle. <laughs> that all I could think to say was, no, I'm not. <laughs> but I continued shaking his hand and let him fawn over me, and then, then we left. <laughs> One of the highlights of my life, I guess. Not so much that I got the compliment, but how I dealt with the compliment. It didn't go to my head. It was almost like the response was pre-recorded and it just came out of my mouth. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks anyway, though. I mean, I, I, 
I did a good job, I think, that day. We, we played a really good set. But I did something of value for him. He wasn't fawning over my guitar. I had a really nice guitar, the BC Rich Warlock. I, but he wasn't fawning over my guitar. He was fawning over my talent. I provided something that he didn't already have, which was my talent, my time, and my artistic ability. He placed value on He placed more value on it than I did. And it struck me as odd. I mean, I considered myself good, but he was like, come up, stand up here. No, no, I'm good. Right, right here. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting on to the 30 minute mark. But yeah. You are not your possessions. You are worth infinitely more than anything you will ever own. Like I said, there's not enough raw material to give you the material equivalent to your true value on this planet. But then again, we're not supposed to be trying to accumulate the material equivalent to our true value anyway. That's not what we're here for. We're here to help one another advance as a species to evolve. And one of these days we'll all collectively pull our heads out of our asses and we'll get that accomplished. <coughs> but until then, you've got people like me, <coughs> excuse me, running around the internet trying to help. <coughs> excuse me again. <coughs> and we'll, we'll get, we'll tip the balance eventually. And I, I'm not trying to win. I'm just trying to break even. That's all we're ever supposed to do. So, like this episode. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, past the 30 minute mark. And, uh, yeah, I like this episode. If you like this episode, go ahead and click the like button. You can favorite it if you want. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Uh, as it is supposed to be a discussion <laughs> and I would like to hear your point of view even if I already said what you or what's on your mind I would like to hear from you how you feel about it anyway if you would like to keep coming back getting more information or you just like the sound of my voice then go ahead and hit the subscribe button but until next time you hang in there